Salinas. I'm the producer of La Jaula de Oro or The Golden Cage. Uh, well, basically, this was a very complicated film, a uh, very unorthodox way to prepare. We probably pre-produced the film a little two, two years and a half in advance before we actually shot. Uh, just getting around the locations and the type of actors we wanted and just mapping the whole scene out was, was extremely difficult because of the nature of the, of the project. The wonderful thing about uh, this project and, and Diego, the director, was that it, it wanted to be as authentic as possible. It had to be a movie that didn't feel you were watching a movie. It had to feel like you were watching a documentary. So just the, just the details, getting around the little details about locations and, and the train and, and the, the wardrobe and the extras and the accents and the dialogues and every little detail was always from the beginning planned to be as authentic as possible. We even shot on 16 millimeters, which nobody does that anymore, uh, just to get that sort of documentary feel. Once all that was in place, then it, it was scripted and then it was, it was done in, in the way the, the story was told. So we, the, what the director wanted was to start at, as a documentary and finish as a, as a fictional film. I mean, this is my speaking as a producer, not as a director or as, a, as a, any other technical field. And that's like that one step and then it's just like one after the other and you just have to man maintain sort of the same logical process. Then you want to try to do something different and they may not let you, but you sort of wave your way through the industry, I guess. <laughs> or at least that's what I've done.